Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, 04 October. It's a Friday. Non farm payrolls. I don't have to tell anyone this. Um, not what it used to be. Non farms. We're seeing a lot less volatility on this number, and it's turning into a bit of a waste of a trading day as the mornings we still line up and wait for this number 230 Swiss time uh, I will not be trading this today I'm actually traveling today and will be away for about five days so you won't hear from me till probably the middle of next week um, but let me just talk about what the strategies are going to be today we're looking for uh, you know, some sort of middling number between 120 and 150. This is negative if it's below 50. This is positive if it's above, say, 220. Otherwise, it'll be just a bit of a mess. Um, let's take a look at what happened yesterday. Obviously, the ISM missed 28.58, the low. Um, sorry, 28.55 the low, just in front of this 200-day moving average at 28.40. Looks like the fast money hit the bid, and now it's gotten stopped. I want to just share uh, some research that we got that's out and about the market. Um, looked like Asian names were buying risk yesterday. This is what some of our bank contacts were telling us. Um, buying short-dated risk on structures effectively getting long dollar yen um, long emerging market currencies short dollar China and this normally is a trade you put on when there's going to be good news from the trade side of things so this is sort of this is now the new elephant in the room the October trade talks uh, are ongoing if we get some sort of trade deal obviously this will squeeze how far it will squeeze I don't know we're still in the bear camp technically and this is really the only way you can trade this thing um, because it's so news driven and you can't really time the news or you just have to be lucky to be sitting in front of your screens um, below 2940 we're bearish uh, above 29.40 we become neutral. This is basically simply how we're going to trade this. Uh, at the moment we're square. We will be selling high ones today as we get closer to 29.40. Um, what can you do? I mean if uh, this trade news comes out this will probably go up to 29.80 again. I don't expect it to get above this 29.95 high um, again this year. I really just don't expect it to get up there. But above 29.40, um, we'll become neutral. So this is also our, you know, we're just sort of joining the rest of the market, I think, and saying this is the bull bear line, 29.40. Um, voila, that's the story in risk. This trend line in euro is incredibly important. Everyone is looking at it. That's why it's important. Whether you believe in technical analysis or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, when everybody is looking at the same metric it becomes important it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy so those who are bearish in euro will be selling in front of this line those who are sort of technically and momentum driven will be buying as it breaks this line um, I think the buyers are going to win of course as most of you know that's the way that I trade so I certainly have my biases built in, um, but it's this is a line you have to know about, you have to think about. Uh, obviously, you have these three highs here at 25. The line actually comes in at 29 today. Um, today could be your bingo day in Euro. A close above this line will be deemed as change in trend, and people will start thinking about being long Euro. You could come up with a million reasons why you can be long euro. You can come up with a million reasons why you can be short euro. 
at the moment, I believe the market is structurally short, uh, and this is why I think it's going to go up. So we shall see um, what happens with that. Not exactly tons more to say. Um, I actually have a whole lot of other things on my mind. Um, so I don't want to fill your video here with just drivel. Focuses on the number today. The bull bear line in, in equities is 29.40. And we're all watching this trend line in euro. Um, I'm just going to leave it at that. Life calls uh, for other important things for me. I will see you guys uh, in five or six days. Good luck out there. Talk to you next week. Ciao.